we're parked at Inside Out, 65A, and in the words of Joy, you can't focus on what's going wrong. There's always ways to turn things around and to find the fun. Belisa. Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome to our channel. Oh, welcome to season two. We are blasting off to infinity and beyond, and we don't want you to miss none of the fun. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything, not even one penny. So click that subscribe button. treats in the park and this was the cart he would visit the most often. He'd come right down from his apartment, get some hot piping popcorn and head down Main Street while he enjoyed it. shoes to fill. <laughs> I love this guy. I also love this vibrant popcorn cart in bright red. One of the really cool things about this cart is it is the most popular popcorn cart when it comes to purchasing popcorn for parades because they are right along the parade route. All right, we've made it to our next Roasty Toasty. We're right here in Tomorrowland and we have the laziest rocketeer astronaut and she is taking a break. She is sleeping on the job. Come on rocketeer, turn that popcorn, you can do it. I don't think any amount of enthusiasm is going to get her moving. So she's just taking a little break today and we're just gonna let her rest. Maybe she's not feeling well, I don't know. But hopefully when you guys come here and check her out, she'll be churning and working and moving that popcorn around. Let's head to our next cart. We made it over to Fantasyland and we are right outside the Matterhorn. And this Rusty Toasty is a Yeti. Go Yeti, it's your birthday. Go Yeti, it's your birthday. He is turning the popcorn and he is doing an amazing job. And I have to say, he's my favorite so far. I mean, I don't wanna play favorites or anything, but this guy's definitely my favorite. So this Rusty Toasty is placed here specifically because he can also be seen inside the Matterhorn. We've made it to our next Roasty Toasty right here outside of It's a Small World. And we've got another clown, but you definitely would know where this cart should be placed, even if it was lost within the cart, the park, because it looks like it's a small world. Everything is in a small world design, and it fits in this area perfectly. We've made it out to Toontown to our next Roasty Toasty, and this little guy in here, he is a train conductor. Um, 
Doctor, you aren't working very hard in there. I'd like some popcorn. Oh, he whispered to me that he's on a break right now and he isn't selling popcorn. So I actually have heard that this popcorn cart is not open all day like all of the other carts in the park. It's kind of hit or miss and apparently we've arrived here at a time that it's not open. But this little train conductor is still super cute. But I love the popping popcorn on the cart. And if you come around this way, <laughs> look at these TTs for Tone Town. I love it. Let's head to the next cart. We're right here in Frontierland and our roasty toasty here is a clown. So this guy is normally a guy with a coonskin hat and if he were here, he would be saying howdy partner, but he's not. We've got a clown here. But something interesting about this is that the actual creator and inventor of the popcorn cart is Charles Creighton. And he created this in 1893 and his little roasty toasty was a clown. Very interesting. Let's head to our last cart. Thank you. We right. made it to our eighth and final roasty toasty popcorn cart in the park. We're right here in New Orleans Square, right outside of a haunted mansion. And who else would you expect to see but the Oogie Boogie? He's in there, he's boogieing, he's turning that popcorn wheel, and he's making hot fresh popcorn for you. And did you know that right here at Disneyland, 149,000 pounds of popcorn is popped every year, which is approximately one 0.6 million servings of popcorn that's sold. That just blows my mind. So, this one though, I think is one of my favorites and probably quite popular right outside of the Haunted Mansion. How'd you do? Awesome. Yeah. Great job. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's time for another episode of Object Hide and Seek Inside Disneyland. We have made it to this great pressed coin machine that we love so much right here in Fan... Oh, Frontierland. I almost called this Fantasyland. Right here in Frontierland. And I already have my eye on this Donald Duck guy right here. I don't know why, but he's a cowboy and I like cowboys. I'll remember that. Cowboys are very impressive. <laughs> What happened? It ate your coin. It did. I didn't get a penny. If I... This is the first we're gonna have to tell him. Did I just get ripped off in Disneyland? Disneyland stole my money. All right. Okay, so we went to the register and the cast member came on over here. She checked it as well and decided that she doesn't know what happened. So she gave us two more quarters and another penny. We're going to try this again. You got it in the right slot? I yeah. got it in the right slot. Yeah, because the light came on. Yeah. All right, he lit up. Yep. Oh, there oh, it goes. I, I saw, saw it, it that, that time. time. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, Donald! All right, now we gotta go find a place to hide him. I think in this area here, I kind of see a good spot. What about right here? Right down in there, right at the entrance to Frontierland. So as you walk into Frontierland, we are to the right, right before you go through the least traveled walkway to the Fantasy Fair. We've got this cannon here. So it's right next to, if you're facing it, the wheel on the right side, down on the right side, come and find it. If you do, make sure you comment down below and tell us that you're the one that found it. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed meeting all of the Roasty Toasties right here in the Disneyland Park. I know I sure did. They did a really 
really great job. And in the words of Walt Disney himself, if you can dream it, you can do it. So get out there and live your best life, but not before subscribing to our channel down below. Bye.